Today, we are gonna talk about spring and we're gonna talk about proper bonsai care to make in springtime. We're also gonna address how to make sure that the trees are in perfect condition and how they will survive the transition from cold nights to warmer days. Welcome to another episode of Bonsai Talk. One of the most important aspects of having a healthy bonsai tree is to find that balance. And what I mean by that is to have perfect balance between the temperature in the day and the temperature in the night. Paying attention to sudden changes in the climate is the key to understand the balance between the transition from winter to spring. Make sure that you have your eyes on the weather report all the time. This day, the current week and all the upcoming weeks. This is something that I do every day. Every day I take at least five minutes of time watching the weather report for my current situation, my climate, and also for the whole county. That way I can estimate the, how to make a good transition or how to successfully get all the trees to pop into life at the same time. You need to make the transition from shade to sunlight or having some kind of net or some construction shading out the trees. What I like to do is to make sure that my bonsai trees has at least three to four hours of early sunlight in the morning, morning sun. And then the sun will travel around my house and not hitting. The sun rays will actually not hit my trees. This makes me very confident in my trees being healthy to the fullest because I know they cannot get burned by the sunlight. So you need to protect your trees from scorching sunlight in spring. Another thing that you need to be careful about is the wind. Powerful, strong winds that can dry out your complete bonsai collection. Now, what I mean by this is that if the roots are not fully activated and fully healthy to take up those nutrition and water. If they are just a little bit dormant still, they will not function to 100%. That means that if the winds are blowing on the substrate and drying out your bonsai trees, the tree might actually be so weakened it can die. Make sure once again that you have 100% awareness of the current weather report and the situation for your location. Wind and sun together is bad and dangerous, especially early in spring. When it comes to fertilizing, make sure that you only fertilize a perfectly active tree. Trees that are still in dormancy and trying to wake up will not be able to suck up the nutrition and the minerals from the fertilizer. What's going to happen is that it will actually compete with the uptake of water. So watering is always number one and fertilizing is number two. When you can see that the tree is healthy and is working as it should, taking up the water, then you can fertilize. If you do it the other way around, you might actually end up killing your tree or weakening it. So remember, no fertilizing, just water in the beginning of spring. One of the best sources of information when it comes to understanding bonsai care in spring is to study the trees. Just get out in nature and study buds, look at the branch structure, look at the shape of the tree, try the flexibility of the branches, look at the ground and try to get as much information as you possibly can. 
and one of the most clarifying tells and signs of a tree entering real spring is the buds. If the buds are starting to swell and almost cracking open, you have a tree that's ready to start growing. This is the time to repot bonsai material and bonsai trees. This is the time to collect deciduous and broadleaf trees. And we have to address and talk about the ground frost. The ground frost is the ground being solid frozen. That's it. The roots are not getting the heat they should to be activated and the roots are still sleeping, being dormant. If the ground is solid frozen like it is here, you just have to wait. What about trees that bloom? Flowering bonsai. Apple trees, syringa, plum, apricot and cherry. All of those trees being early in spring. What about those? Well, the thing is that they are trying to reproduce. They are pushing out growth early for one single reason. Reproduction. Now a tree that blooms heavily might actually be something to be afraid of because it looks healthy but actually the trees are telling you signals that hey I'm about to die here so I'm just gonna make as much babies as I can before I go all of a sudden this tree this specific spring is pushing way too much flowers for no particular reason that might be an indicator for you that this tree needs repotting it needs some kind of intervention to survive. Now, if you have a tree that pushes flowers or bloom in spring, make sure that you remove all of that when it's done flowering, because the flowers are actually taking energy from the tree itself. All right, so that will be all for today. And I hope that you learned more about the spring fundamentals when it comes to bonsai. If you haven't checked out the channel, make sure that you take a good look around, consider a subscription and check out the videos that we have done before. There is so much to learn out there and I will see you in a bonsai talk future near you. Peace.